my humble advice to every African parent living in Europe is this. If your kids are not yet 20 years old, send them to Africa to learn manners, a proper upbringing and education. Until they are 30 years old, then they can rejoin you here in Europe. This is why I decided to say this. Regarding our first, my first post I did yesterday concerning having children in Europe is a waste. I got some comment which I was very thrilled and impressed by. The first comment I, comment I got was from Miss Kenya 1900. She said, that is why I took my daughter back to Kenya boarding school. That was her comment. And I replied, I said, she did, she made the, a good decision and she is a wise woman. And she replied again, now she for that, but she got the best education which she could have not achieved here because of company. Thanks for your piece of words or advice. And somebody came again and wrote in German by Halima Ibrahim. She said, I will translate it in English. She said, Er is not, er is not young um to learning. The mutter sollte in einfach nach Afrika schicken to familien bist er 18 Jahre ist. ist. That means she said the child is still very young to go to Africa to learn until he is 18 years old. And then Kalistukum, Kalistukum uh, also commented. I was being, t I was telling this for a long time. Children need to be sent to Africa until they reach adulthood. The system is created to, you know, the children. So that was the comment I got. You can read the comment on the top of this video. So let's go back to our topic of today, which is my humble advice to parents, African parents living in Europe. If your kids are not yet 20 years old, send them to Africa to learn manners, a proper upbringing and education until they are 30 years old then they can come back to europe one one of the reasons is this the gadget these children use in europe the phones the tvs these devices retard their speech and cognitive development of the kids what is broadcast on the media tremendously tremendously affect the broker's area in the brain which is located at the left hemisphere of the brain this part of the brain is associated with speech production and articulation. Our ability to articulate ideas as well as use words accurately in English and written language has been attributed to this crucial area. That is why the gadget these children use in Europe, they destroy their ability to speak eloquently, to learn the language eloquently. And second of the point is that they feel so lonely and depressed more than 19% of African kids born in Europe have these speech retardation problems. I will not talk much on this, but my advice to every African parent is that when you are about to and take into any... Don't go there alone. Make sure you are accompanied by a trustworthy family member. This is to those or for those who understand what I am saying. They talk with our a lot in Europe. They do all of this to slow the academic progress of our kids and also to create jobs, you know, for the kinder arts or the pediatricians or the children's doctors. They experiment a lot on our and the black. Three, most children born and bred in Europe turn out to be school dropout academically and unproductive. They always end up doing vocational trainings which is always you know reserved for the unbright kids in schools number four europe most especially has many unskilled jobs than skilled jobs so it is a measure you know they are using in order to drift our kids into voc vocational trainings by discouraging them 
in their academic pursuit making them feel stupid dumb and dull and they will end up giving up on their general education and pursuing vocational training thinking they are not fit for general education five all the office jobs are already being occupied by the by origin or with the by origin this is a new slavery of mental manipulation where we deliberately accept the position of a slave master relationship because they have made us feel so six our kids are in a confinement which is similar to a dog's cage that is why they are always hostile and aggressive the pushing of kids on kinder baggins or kids strollers disconnect the parents to the child contact which enables them to dissipate excessive charges and energy in them how often do you carry you know your child if i may ask you a question when they are still babies in europe on rare occasions but the skin to skin parent child contact helps the kids as well for their development again seven the food and drinks they eat has like feminine hormones that deform the genetic material of these kids rendering the males feminine and also the females sterile in the long run number eight they are being marginalized number nine always teach them their roots and background as africans not europeans number 10 most of them are confused and don't even know where they belong because on their passport they are europeans but in reality they are not treated as such they don't enjoy all the privileges as europeans because of their skin color number 11 they can only be instilled or inculcated the african 